Uber is putting self-driving on the fast track of its business model. The on-demand car pioneer recently bought a company that's designing autonomous big rigs, and it'll soon be testing self-driving passenger cars. John Blackstone is in the cab of a self-driving semi in San Francisco with a story you'll only see on CBS This Morning. John, good morning. Uh, good morning. Well, driving a big rig is a big job, and even a rig as big as this one is now learning to drive itself. A Silicon Valley startup called Auto has just been bought by Uber with the goal of putting a fleet of self-driving trucks on the nation's highways in as little as two years. We were invited along for an exclusive test drive. At 55 miles an hour with no one behind the wheel, Auto has tested its technology on closed roads. For test runs like the one we took on a busy freeway. Now so, we are engaged. With that, the truck is driving itself. A safety driver sits behind the wheel just in case. Your hands are now close to the wheel, but not on the wheel. I'm, I'm not really scared at all, actually. Leo Ron is co-founder of Auto. Your goal here is to build equipment that can be put onto any truck, to make any truck a self-driving truck? Correct. We want to make every truck a self-driving truck. So our approach has been, let's equip those trucks today with kits that are basically upgrading those trucks to be self-drivable. The announcement last week that Uber is buying auto for an estimated $680 million gives the ride-sharing giant access to auto's advanced technology to further its own push into self-driving vehicles. The key for all of this is about accelerating that future, it really bringing the best of minds from our team, from the existing Uber team, and it will allow us to really get to that future sooner than later. That future is arriving in Pittsburgh, where Uber is introducing a fleet of new cars equipped to drive themselves. For now, those Uber cars will have a safety driver, but more than a million Uber drivers around the world may be seeing a future where they are no longer needed. What would you say to professional drivers now who see Uber, who may see auto as a big threat to their jobs? And there's a gradual transition that's going to take many, many years for that to happen. And at the end of the transition, we're going to see the economy shift to a slightly different model. There's no way you can get around the fact that this will be a way to cut their dependency on human drivers and thus the amount of humans they would employ. Uber is only one of the companies racing toward a self-driving future. Its competitor, Lyft, is teaming with General Motors on developing a self-driving fleet. Google, Ford, and other major car companies are also pursuing the technology. I think self-driving technology will be similar to smartphone technology of the last 10 years, meaning it's going to show up quickly and it's going to change things dramatically in a relatively short amount of time. Truck drivers will be needed for everything off the highway, so they'll still have some, uh, some job security. Auto's trucks are designed to operate uh, on highways in self-driving mode only, so truckers will still be needed for everything off the highway. Anthony? John, thanks. 